So I booted up the division again today, expecting to do some Dark Zone stuff because I am level 30 and don't have my, any friends of mine with me. We're now leaving the safe area. But as it turns out, I have an unknown signal I need to go to, so I don't know if this is end game or whatever, considering that I have pretty much done almost everything I freaking can. I've done covered every single mission, well, except for, well, except for these. Which I will do later, but for now, I think I am gonna travel to the meat locker. I want so looks like I've got. Uh, let's see, I've got two encounters here. I'll have, I'll, I've maxed out engineer. I've maxed out engineer uh, tech already, and I've maxed out security. So doing these is kind of pointless. But I can still do the first day ones because that's the last one I have to do, and then I go to my encounters here, a side mission, and then I got to unlock this site, uh, the safe house up here in Midtown East, and then I'm done. Almost there. Okay. Just gotta get out of the meat locker and onto the street. This, I guess this is like a post finale video, because you that the previous video would most definitely have been the end video, as in the not the end video, but like the end mission. As it were. Ooh, there's a phone recording over here. Let's let's have a look see. Do 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 Oh boy. Is that a looter over there? No, it's not. So, yeah, pretty much. I have finished the, pretty much almost all of the division up at this point. I just haven't done any Dark Zone stuff at all, so as you can see. My loot, oops. My loot is, my gear is, oh. What are my skills? I've actually also unlocked a couple, I've unlocked the, next lot unlocks a medical way 100%. Oh. So I got three talents, none, the last one I have to max up my medical wing 100% to unlock. But I've, right now I'm running a Silenced Scar H, I think. And a... And a sniper rifle, the M1A, I do believe. No, I'm not looking... Who, who is that up there? No, I'm not looking for anybody, I'm just moving. Right, so you're heading back to Hudson Bay, I guess. This the, that's the... Uh, that's the, that's where the signal's going from. What's up, JCF? Back here in Chelsea. Readings indicate an echo nearby. And this echo that I've seen a bazillion times through the beta. Running, running, running. I wish I could run faster. Let me. Oh! Easy peasy. Oh. Hello? Nah. Whatever. So I'm running, as you can, for my stuff, I'm running the support, the, the support station, which is basically a health station, really nice. And I'm also running the seeker mines, which I have on the cluster mine mod. I guess that's the end of combat. I like I, I really like this I really like the seeker mines because although they I have I switched out from the vision pulse a while back because the vision pulse actually kind of sucks now. The seeker mines are really good because they seek the cluster the cluster seeker mines are really good because they because just sort of go for everything that I have, that I can see or I, I have ping or what they detect and stuff and stuff. It's really good. It's really good combat support ability in addition to the so I can just like lay so while I'm in a sniper position I can just sort of lay out my mines let them. Let them roll off and do the thing, and then I can just sort of snipe people as they explode and get health damage, yada yada yada, so on and so forth. Alright, so we're getting close to this unknown signal. It's a phone recording nearby, but I don't know what it is. Isaac said that there's, uh, what, some unidentified shade tech nearby, so I'm guessing this might be our guy, Aaron Keener. The rogue division, the rogue first wave division agent that we've been pursuing throughout this whole game. Hello? Hello? Anyone home? I also like that the, the, the when you deploy the when you deploy the seeker oh when you deploy the seeker mine without anybody nearby, it's like a cute it, it just deploys like a cute little green glowing ball. Wait, wait, no, hold on, let me demonstrate. Hold on, let me demonstrate. Here. Oh look at it, it's so cute. Oh it's so adorable. Come follow me in my little come follow me little one. We're going on an adventure. We're an adventure of a lifetime! There's an echo nearby. 
There's an echo right here. Hello, what is this place? Activating the echo now. Here I am, Aaron Keener, the first wave's prodigal son. Normally I'd do this face to face, but I'm not 100 sure which way I'm gonna jump. You act one way when Ms. Lau is watching, and another way entirely when you're off the leash. That's an interesting contradiction. Oh. You see, I think that deep down you get it. You know, the old rules, laws, governments, those things died on Black Friday. But the feral PMCs, the convicts... Oh, that's Dr. Amherst, he's dead! Good huh. enough to take what they need, they'll survive. Me? I'm gonna prosper. I just realized that his body's here. Oh, you could too, but you took an oath, right? You got a duty. Those are both ways of saying that your conscience is fucking you. You ask yourself, who has earned a right to tell you what to do? Do you know how many agents died in the dark zone just for the brass to give up and put a wall around it? You don't believe me? You should check the place out for yourself. I already have. You're working for there. Irrelevant now. Amherst changed how the game is played, and I have got the vision to win. I got Chernenko, I got a DNA printer, and a very interesting recipe book. I'm gonna write my own rules. Uh oh. You should think about getting in on this thing. I'll be seeing you. Seeing me where? Is that it? Is that all there is? Huh. Agent, the information you found in that lab was the crown jewel. I think we can break this thing now. But we've got some more information. A voice from the grave. Listen to what Amherst has to say. Yes, the virus report. The last one. What you're looking at is the smallpox virus, one of the deadliest pathogens on the planet. For centuries, it did a wonderful job of helping keep the human population in check. But times change, and sometimes Mother Nature needs a hand in improving her creations. Like, say, speeding them up a little bit, making them contagious when they should be quietly incubating a host, or Making them more lethal. I didn't come up with the approach on my own. My friend Vitaly is one of the pioneers in the field, and the idea has been around for years. Genome as data. You see, once we digitized DNA, we made it infinitely mutable. We could do a thousand virtual variations in the time it used to take to grow a one lab grade generation of pathogens. And we could pick the best, most lethal combinations and make them real. That's how you make a killer virus, you see. Mix in genetic code from other diseases and you move the sliders all the way up on lethality and virulence. The goal was a 90% mortality rate. I'm not sure my green poison is going to quite hit that, but honestly, that's just details. As long as most of humanity goes, the Earth stands a fighting chance. Technically, technology is what's killing the planet. But that's not really the case. It's the greed that drives the technology. But a funny thing happened on the way to $100 genome maps and 3D printed plastic toys. Someone figured out those technologies could be repurposed, modified for the greater good. Me. Me. Now, my virus is going to do what nature's always done. Decide who lives and who dies. And if nature decides I die, then I die. If nothing else, I'll have a lot of company. Natural selection at its finest helped along by a little unnatural genetic manipulation. It's all data, really. Life's just a method of processing. The same way I processed the smallpox genome on my laptop. And who 
who's to say that wasn't the plan all along? If, by some miracle, you survive green poison, then nature's decided you deserve to live. The rest of us shouldn't and won't. Godspeed. I'll see you in hell. Wow. But is that it? I don't have to. I don't get to kill freaking Aaron or anything. Is that it? Seriously? Okay then. That was the shortest division video I've ever recorded. Thank you very much for watching. That will truly be the end of the division on my channel. If you liked the video, well, well, well like it of course. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'll be going back to Sleeping Dogs soon. So until then, everybody. Can't put some. And we're done.